I'm a professor here at the Faculty of Veterinary Science. I've worked with animal welfare for over 20 years. The five freedoms represent one of the best concepts we have in animal welfare. They represent the goals that we should strive for in ensuring the welfare of animals in our care. I believe that it's important for farming industries to engage with animal welfare and to demonstrate their performance in animal welfare. Expressing normal behaviour means for cattle providing sufficient space to lie down, the opportunity to interact with other cattle, and also the opportunity through adequate roughage in the diet to spend time ruminating. It's important that cattle are given the opportunity to express their natural behaviours and we provide within the pens the opportunity for them to express their natural behaviour, play with other cattle, ruminate, do all the things that they do in a pasture based environment. There's a minimum space requirement in Australian feedlots of 9 square metres per head, but in reality uh, areas are generally 15 to 25. So for an animal to be able to exhibit its natural behaviours, it obviously has to have enough space. And so it's in the feedlot's interest, and obviously the cattle's interest, that they have enough room to exhibit their natural behaviours. What we also try to do is group animals in, in mob sizes that enable them to exhibit their natural behaviours that they normally would um, in a pasture environment. So we're, we're trying to group them with cattle that they're familiar with um, to be able to interact that way. A lot of the cattle in this feedlot, for example, uh, were born in the same paddock. They've grown uh, up together and they're here in the feedlot together. To express normal behaviour, it, it's important to, uh, for our staff to actually know what that is. Uh, we, staff training is involved, from my perspective, a lot to do with animal health, but we also want staff to know when they can recognise that cattle are expressing their normal behaviour. So we go through a whole uh, range of uh, presentations and, and tutorials and that on what that, uh, that behaviour is. For cattle, as they move from a pasture environment to a feedlot environment, what's really important is the diet has an adequate level of roughage because it's roughage that actually promotes rumination in cattle and we know that rumination is a really important natural behaviour. And the nutrition is, is fantastic. There is nothing that the cattle are missing out on, but it's important for us to facilitate that transition to this new diet, and cattle are able to still utilise elements of roughage in that ration. It's not all starch, it's not all carbohydrate. We know that cattle welfare is good when we can see these natural behaviours being exhibited.